sold out. Dozen or so people on here. Are you guys having fun? Yeah. But depending on who you talk to, this lake effect snow isn't necessarily much of a problem. Andy, we're on Burdick by the Crosstown intersection, one of the most severe hit sections from this flooding in the city. Now take a look. This is a business. It looks like a lake right now. The superintendent confirmed that the suspect, Lacey Tut, got in the skull and remained there unchecked for four minutes earlier this evening. Mike. Yes, Brittany, and this death has really sent shockwaves through this community, and those here tonight vowed to support and help this family going through a horrific tragedy. Minion Clopton is still in shock. The mother of three was behind the wheel of the minivan during Friday's rack, on the way to drop off her three kids before going to work. Now out of the hospital, she's dealing with losing her one-year-old daughter, Dasani Colbert. This family is close. I ain't giving up. Hundreds came out tonight for a prayer vigil to support the family and to remember Dasani. She, if you was um, fixing our bowel and you wasn't fixing it fast enough, she started screaming, please hurry up. Dasani and her twin sister celebrated their first birthday just days before the tragic death. Very spirited, very gifted uh, baby, if you can see it, just all in her spirit, all in her face. This family will need our support. Today, Chief Hadley confirmed that the children inside the minivan were not restrained in car seats at the time of the crash. First, we got to love people through this, and then we have to figure out how we educate and empower other people so that we never see this again. Amen. You may release. But Clopton's family and friends continue to pledge their support in this time of tragedy. She's a wonderful mom. I love her. I respect her. And we just need support. Funeral arrangements are expected to be made for the little girl sometime tomorrow. Live in Kalamazoo, Mike Cravesick. Madawan High School security cameras show 25-year-old Lacey Tutt appearing to blend in as she entered a student entrance at 8.35 a.m. Tut is seen entering a room where students were being ushered in since the lockdown was still in effect. With them thinking that she was a person that needed, to, you know, that they wanted to make sure was safe from what was going on in Madawan. So they took her right in, put her in a lockdown position. Superintendent Robin Buckler says Tut remained in the room, unchecked until an employee thought she looked suspicious. More than anything, I think the comment was very nervous. An officer sitting outside the school was alerted, and at 839, several officers, including a state trooper, walked in and apprehended Tut. She was led out into a deputy's vehicle four minutes after entering the building. To you, is that acceptable? No, that is never acceptable. I would never want to do anything to put students or staff in harm. But it happened. Buckler says Tut might have been caught sooner if the Madawan school resource officer, a Madawan police officer assigned to the campus, was there. Our school resource officer was pulled away to help with that incident. It's part of the reason why Buckler announced last week the school system will hire an SRO from another department. The size of Madawan was challenging for the staffing at the Madawan Village Police, and we need somebody that can absolutely be here the entire time. Felt like the world was going to end. Seven-year-old Everly Pearson and her friend, 11-year-old Sarah Stroud, were out to get ice cream this afternoon when all of a sudden... I told them to step back a little bit. Like the ice cream man was like, was like run, run, and the tree started to come down and it hit the power line. A large tree fell on top of this ice cream truck, practically slicing it in half. I had my back turned that way. I just heard the snapping going on in the back and just like two seconds later, bam, right in the back of the back of the van. The driver, Max Kebshell, remained inside. Like fell down on the ice cream truck. That is crazy. This video shot by a neighbor captured the aftermath. He's okay. Luckily, Kepshell was able to get out of the truck without being hurt. Luckily, when where I fell, I fell in between the seats. So I wasn't pinned in or nothing. Both the driver and the two little girls were treated for minor injuries. And I got burnt right here, and then I got a welt right here. Sarah Stroud says the actions of this ice cream truck driver may have saved her life. Um, it felt like like I was gonna like die or something. I don't really know. Right now, it's unclear how this tree fell to the ground. Moments ago, power was restored to this entire neighborhood after crews worked all night to get it back. 
Live in Kalamazoo, Mike Krafsik, News Channel 3.